All right, once again, you're taking a stand with the most shadow banned man in the land, Lamar Aismo. Back with another video, so let's go. Coronavirus is very serious, and I'm firmly on the side of it being man-made now because I haven't heard of a disease that's spread so sporadically over such a wide area. And in addition to that, a disease that you can recover from it and get it again, you know, in a matter of, you know, it, it so apparently it must mutate with every case because normally even if you contract the same disease, I would think it would have to mutate into another version. Uh, so for example, like you have some diseases that are um, viruses that are airborne and, and some that aren't. Some have to be passed through bodily fluid or direct con contact with individuals. And those same viruses could end up being airborne after a certain amount of time. So, and, and um, it's, that's one aspect of it. But then you also have the incubation period of the disease being also being sporadic. So I've heard of cases where an individual tested negative and, and you know, 24 days later, they have it. The Iranian um, health minister, one of the Iran's health ministers, this was the craziest thing I've ever seen. Uh, well, I shouldn't say that. I'm exaggerating. It's not the craziest thing I've ever seen, but it's pretty crazy how this guy went to a press conference sweating profusely. Um, I guess not knowing that he had the virus himself and telling him and, and from what some, some of the reports I heard and, and, and again, you have to be careful with the mainstream media because they're never going to tell you the truth, especially when it comes to a, a an adversarial nation uh, like Iran. So you have to take everything with more than a grain of salt. But according to them, there's an attitude in, in Iran that goes something like this. Um, you know, it's, it's, uh, everything's up to God. And, you know, we Muslims say that we have this uh, saying, uh, Inshallah. And you will hear me say at the, the end of most of my videos, I'll say, God willing, see you in the next uh, video. Because that's uh, literally what it means. It means, you know, if God wills it, I'll do, I'll do such and such. Because we don't know... Um, whether or not um, forget living to the next day you I mean there's no reassurance that any of us will survive um, to the next hour let alone the next day which is why I always or try to uh, frequently end my videos with the uh, saying God willing see you in the next one because well you, you just never know so they say the Iranians have this attitude I guess when it comes to disease they say well you know, it's, it's in, it's in uh, God's hands if I get it or not. So I'm not going to take ex extra precautions, but I hope that's not the case. And um, which brings me to one of my pet peeves about um, most of human society. One of the things, and, 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 and I apologize yet again, I have to keep using my phone for these videos because my equipment uh, was uh, damaged. I'm going to have to get, probably get another new computer. Uh, I'll, I'll try to, to, to be less of a cheapskate in hopes that uh, it'll work better. But um, all these devices now have back doors, windows. You never really own your operating system, even if you buy it. They, they claim that they can always um, they can upgrade it and update it without your consent now. They used to have to ask permission to um, install updates. They just do it. Um, Similar to, um, I heard John Deere is doing that with a lot of his uh, farming uh, machines. It's basically saying you never own it. They they always uh, reserve the right to uh, take control of, of the asset again, uh, capitalism. But um, anyway, um, I, I hope that's not the approach that uh, the, the Iranians feel. Oh, yeah. Uh, bring, bringing me back to uh, my pet peeve about uh, one of my pet peeves about human civilization. In most cultures, the handshake is, um, uh, you know, something that, you know, given cultures do. I, I've never been a fan of shaking hands. Uh, 
and, and especially after I heard, uh, t- you know, growing up, you, you find out, the, you know, getting to your teenage years, oh, you have to have a strong handshake because it just shows, um, you know, I don't know whether it's a machismo thing um, or it, it basically your handshake could. It, there's all these little foolish games that people play. Uh, in terms of uh, granting other people access to certain things like jobs or taking people seriously even, uh, co- according to some really dumb rules. So from wh- what I heard uh, growing up, you know, your handshake will determine, you know, people's first impressions of you. So you got to have this firm handshake. And so that's one stupid aspect of it. It's like it's just a, yet another thing. So in addition to having cronyism and nepotism, you have to have these uh, body language indicators that um, so people don't really pay attention to qualifications and merit. There's all these little subtle, foolish things that come along with uh, most cultures. Like I don't. That's one of the things that I think every culture has. There's something foolish and, and nonsensical about um, probably about every ethnic group, including my own. You know, we we are. I think it's called idiosyncrasies. There's there's always these uh, cultural memes and, and, and that sort of thing. But a lot of times these memes aren't helpful, which, which brings me, again, back to handshaking. That's one of the things I wish could be gotten rid of. The, the Japanese society, and, and unfortunately this has not helped them through this uh, coronavirus uh, thing. But um, in Japan, they, instead of shaking hands, they bow. And depending on your uh, seniority in society... You're supposed to bow lower. So for a younger man, supposed to bow lower to an to an elder, and you know the same thing applies to rank. So you bow extremely low as you can to the emperor, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But th- that's one aspect of Japanese culture that I feel is superior um, in terms of. But I think they handshake now too because of um, quote unquote Western influence. But the handshake is something that has to go because. Not only just for the sake of this coronavirus thing, but you never know where anybody's hands have been. Unless someone washed their hands right in front of you, you don't know what they've been doing, what they've touched, um, whether they washed their hands after going to the bathroom. I've seen individuals go to the bathroom, uh, number one or two, and just walk straight out. Just disgusting. So one of the things I want to see, you know, and, and hopefully that's an outcome for this corona thing is, the, hand, the handshake needs to be got done away with. But in, 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 and now that I'm thinking about it, in addition to that, you have um, intelligence agencies like Mossad. I'm pretty sure because uh, when we read our, our book, Gideon Spies, on this channel, we read some of Gideon Spies. Of course, we're not going to read the whole thing through the copyrights and other issues. But the Israelis actually train their secret services. They're, um, they're ruthless, homicidal, genocidal uh, spy agencies, they train them to infect people with chemicals and diseases. And I'm pretty sure um, handshake, they, they probably know how to deliver these weapons uh, via handshake. Not only them, so let's just not beat up on the Israelis on this one, but I'm pretty sure other agencies as well. So my whole thing is that I don't know you and trust you deeply. Uh, I, I don't I don't think it's appropriate to shake people's hands. Like I, I never liked it. But it's just something that I do because, um, you know, it's, again, not only is it a us or thing, um, that's my new uh, noun for uh, we, the, the people of the United States of America, I feel referencing ourselves as Americans is arrogant and, um, and, and it's arrogant and ignorant simultaneously because every country in the Western Hemisphere um well, actually, I can't say every, but and unless you count the Caribbean, but both of the continents are are the are America. Uh, but back to the uh, main thrust of this thing, like so. In, in terms of Corona, it started in uh, Wuhan, I believe, is a city in China and the surrounding uh, province. Which the Chinese did a good job of locking it down. And they said uh, upwards of 50 million people have been severely restricted. And this is when an authoritarian government like China, when authoritarianism is handy, because, you know, thank God that China did do that because the spread of this disease would have been even worse. But I don't think um, the disease is natural, obviously. 
Um, and I've and I've heard, and this is a consequence of civilization, which is why one of the flags that I choose to fly or to, to uh, hang is the the flag of anarcho primitivism. Is because um, as we quote unquote progress as um, a civilization, we're actually regressing in terms of uh, human survival. Not only the humanity survival, but all the other animals and plants for that matter. The more technology improves, it seems like, uh, I mean, it improves our daily lives, uh, you know, but there are severe consequences that seemingly can outweigh this progress. Hence your nuclear bomb and this coronavirus thing. This, I did, for me, this disease has to be man-made. The way that it spread was totally unnatural. I had one commenter say that, um, I think he said that the disease was spread in China uh, the way people talk about chemtrails. Basically, it was delivered from um, an airdrop. I've, so I've heard that. But I've also heard that um, uh, the Chinese, uh, you know, they eat exotic animals. And it may have come from that, from a bat. I've heard several different um, ways that this started. But the fact that it's in countries that are either competition or adversaries of the United States more heavily than it is, and, and except in the case of Italy. Italy is the largest outbreak in Europe so far. I hope that the Italians get it under control, but I think this is probably, um, and, 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 and this, is a, um, this is a theory, so it's, it's a conspiracy theory. I don't have any facts on this, but since I think this was a man-made virus, and... Um, Again, it's, it's attacking adversarial countries to the United States or, or countries that um, are seemingly trying to, to uh, break the shackles, Italy being one of them. The Italians and the Greeks actually did smart, a smart thing, and they voted in, uh, well, in the case of the Greeks, they voted in the far left. The Italians voted in the far right, but as you can see, it, the voting didn't help, but... They're, they're starting to break away from this, this agenda, this uh, globalization agenda. And this could be used to rein them in. But this could also be uh, a dry run, a test run for a more devastating or more devastating diseases to come. And when I mentioned the civilization thing earlier, it's, it's been claimed, too, that we may run into diseases that have been frozen in uh, the tundra or these... Um, sub-arctic, you know, these semi-arctic areas of the world where you have permafrost, like really hard frozen ground. As these grounds thaw, uh, new diseases may come about because, or diseases that we didn't know exist may be um, coming soon to a theater near you. But uh, this is totally man-made, I, I think. I've never seen a natural occurring disease. Even in the United States, um, a few years ago, when they released Ebola thousands of miles away in, in, in Northwest Africa from its source in Central Africa, you know, the Ebola skipped several countries from... Because Ebola originates in the Congo, so the last outbreak took place in Liberia, Sierra Leone, uh, Senegal, that region, which is like the equivalent of... Uh, you know, coast to coast from, you know, Atlanta to Los Angeles. That's how great the distance was. So it bypassed all that other territory and, and, and cropped up there. These are man-made uh, diseases. I think um, this is a test run for, for worse to come. And um, at the very least, this was done to... And it and it also could have been. I'm gonna cut this video here because I don't know if I could go past. I never found out whether I could make it past 15 minutes again. I, it, once I recorded a 30 minute video and it went to waste, so I'm gonna stop here and pick up in the next one. Thanks for watching.